Today we're here to break down Donovan Mitchell's newest shoe, the Adidas Don Issue 5. Let's do it. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a fun one. We're gonna be checking out the Adidas Don Issue 5 and just breaking these down and seeing how they play as far as the performance goes. We'll look at the cushion, the traction, the support, everything you need to know before you decide if you wanna go ahead and purchase the Adidas Don Issue 5. But before we get into the basketball breakdown and all those aspects, I do wanna take a second just to give you a little bit of an overview about this model. So as far as the retail price goes, these are gonna be going for $120, which isn't bad at all for a basketball shoe, especially whenever you're talking talking about a signature line. I wanna say that's actually in line with the same thing, with the same price from last year's model, the Adidas Don 4. So you gotta love it when they don't make those, you know, major price jumps like you see in a lot of different shoe lines right now. Luckily the Don 5 isn't really gonna have that going on. So 120 bucks, nothing wrong there. And then as far as the design goes, I think these took a step forward this year in my opinion. And this is always gonna be just subject to, you know, whatever you tend to like your, uh, your shoes to look like. Adidas has a lot of funky things going on right now. Like you got the Adidas AE1, Anthony Edwards just had his first shoe. We're gonna be breaking that one down soon actually. And then as far as like the Harden line, like they're going to a more like modern type futuristic look. These you could argue are doing the same thing. I didn't really love the Don 4 from last year as far as the design goes. I got the Don 3s right here. I thought this was a pretty clean model, what they did with the uh, kind of crown design to the side of the uh, midsole. And I, this is one of those shoe lines that for the most part, I've been able to check them all out. I got in early on the Don 2s. I don't think I got to play in the Don 1s, but I got to play in the Don 2s, so I've really kind of been able to track Donovan Mitchell's entire shoe line so far, see what we're working with. And honestly, I do like the Adidas Don 5. And especially whenever you're talking about the appearance, I tend to like the kind of three stripes that they have on the side there. Just kind of a simplistic look still, nothing too much going on. At the same time, I am a fan, but we'll go ahead and leave all that behind and finally get to going ahead and breaking down the shoe. So as far as the cushion goes, that's a spot that, we're, that's where we'll start. So as far as the cushion goes, that's a spot where Donovan Donovan's line has been good, not great. And I would say that's how a lot of Adidas shoes tend to play. Like Dame's line, it's been pretty solid, nothing crazy. The Harden line, it's gone through some like, some major shifts. Like the fives, the Harden five, I talk about that all the time. That shoe was just, was just not a very good model to me. The six has got a little more comfortable. The seven's probably his most comfortable shoe in years. I, you can say the same thing with Trey's line. That's probably been one of the more comfortable ones. As far as the Don 5 goes, these are gonna be a little bit more padded underneath your foot than what you were working with last year. I guess that's the way I would explain it. At the same time, it's not gonna be super padded. It's not gonna feel like you got a ton of layers going on down there, but the cushion does feel pretty solid, especially when you consider the sock liner and all the padding like on the surrounding of the shoe as well. The comfort's not really an issue on these. I was able to play in these. Basically, they broke in right away. There wasn't a lot, you know, of like loosening up that had to happen to play in the, to play in the Don 5. So, I mean, cushion, it's not gonna, I don't wanna like overblow it, say it's gonna be a major plus, but at the same time, it is gonna be playable. So I was happy to see that. The next thing I wanna talk about is gonna be the support. Something interesting with this shoe is you have a little bit of a like off-centered lacing system. I always just think that's interesting whenever shoes uh, decide to switch up different things like that. But as far as the support goes, that is gonna be a definite positive on this model. I mean, you don't have any type of heel slippage. There are some Adidas shoe lines out there that can be prone to that. I will say, to bring it back to Trey's line, that is definitely one that has kind of dealt with that from time to time. I don't think that it was, you know what, actually in the Don issue four, there were some slight kind of heel slippage issues just with how that was all set up on the back side of the shoe, plus the way the lace, lacing structure was. A lot of that, actually, you know what, all of that is taken away on this year's model. They got a little bit of a different setup. Like I said, they kind of off-centered that lacing system. I don't know if that's the bulk of the reason why it helped, but as far as, you know, heel slippage and just any type of lateral support whenever you're making those cuts, it's not an issue. So support is definitely gonna get a check in the positive direction. And then the last thing that I really wanna touch on here is gonna be the traction. And uh, whenever it comes to Adidas shoes, we'll just kind of keep it in that family that is definitely can be hit or miss i mean trey's line was off to you know a little bit of a rougher start but for but in general i want to say like the landscape for adidas basketball shoes has kind of just been average for me like it hasn't been anything too over the top but i do like you know they got like more of a herringbone pattern that they set up for the don issue five and then to go along with that this is just kind of a squeakier model like this is going to be a sticky shoe it bites the floor really well and even going back to the don four those made an improvement from the threes like i said i've kind of been able to play in all 
I guess not in all five, but in four of the five models, leaving out the ones. And that's always an entry into the shoe. I wish I could have checked those out, but that's normally when they tend to do some figuring out. So let me know down in the comments what you thought about the uh, Don ones, if you got to play in them. For me, I started on the twos and it seems like they've gotten progressively better. I was impressed with the fours last year. I can't lie. I think I'm a little bit more impressed with the fives this year. I mean, they, they stick to the four. They collect a little bit of dust, but I mean, that's going to happen depending on how you know clean the court that you're playing on is. But I mean, as you can see in the video, I mean, whenever I came to that stop, that hard stop, boom, it was right there with me. And then, then you can even get a good shot from that. There's no slipping outside of the shoe. They have some like reinforcement. You see this black piece up here by the toe box. That does a good job of not letting your toes kind of shift out of the model. Plus these three Adidas stripes. It just feels like a pretty structurally sound model. I mean, just all together, I mean, I do feel like the Don 5 took a step in the right direction. I, like I told you, I do like the uh, design of it a little bit more. That does at the end of the day, that does tend to play a little bit of an opinion on what you're gonna think about a shoe. Don't let that psych you out too much because the performance doesn't really you know, hinge on that. But as far as the actual performance of the shoe, the cushion, it's pretty solid. The support is definitely a step up. And I would say that the traction is gonna be the highlight of the shoe. Really the only area that I would say could get a little bit better would be the cushion. Like you can maybe get a little bit softer under the footbed. At the same time, it's not gonna be a huge knock. So for my overall grade on this model, I'm gonna stamp it with a B plus. At $120, that's also gonna be, you know, playing into the reason they get that grade. Say you're talking about this shoe and it's 180, so we call it 160, 170, somewhere in that Curry range, KD, some of those shoes that have been going on for a little bit longer. Like I said, it's only his fifth model. Plus on this shoe, I mean, really, you don't you don't have anything that you can just noticeably knock on the Adidas Don issue five. I think that's a big point. And as far as the sizing goes, though, I will say your toes go a little bit up towards the end. So you don't have a ton of extra room, but the width is going to be standard. So you should be good to go size up. If you're someone that just prefers you know, a little extra space to play in, that wouldn't be a bad idea at all. But that's going to wrap it up on the Adidas Don issue five. Like I said, let me know down in the comments what you think about this model. If you've had the chance to play in them. Also, feel free to throw down there just any shoe you guys want to see next. But that's going to wrap up this review. Till next time, I'm Landon. Peace.